So I was born and raised in Colorado. Um, I grew up in the mountains and around nature and I always loved creating things. What I really like about Hofstra is that you have to take all different types of art classes. So even if you're a painting major, you still have to take sculpture and ceramics and metals classes. Um, so I really enjoyed working in all different types of media. Joy actually started out as a drawing assignment in my, um, I think I was drawing one class with Professor Lee. and. The assignment was we had to make a newspaper, right, and I decided to make it look like it was knit. And one of his critiques of it, he asked, well, why didn't you just knit this? And so then I got to start, I started thinking about incorporating knitting and actually weaving. Her grandmother, who, she's very, who was, she was very close with, um, taught her how to knit. Um, you know, I just uh, kept supplying her with um, paper towels, because she did it out of paper towels. I just kept knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting. While I was working, I started thinking about how much I was enjoying the process. And so I started thinking about the definition of joy and how it's different than happiness because it's just in any environment that you're in and it's finding the happiness within each moment and looking towards the greater goal. I introduced her to the idea of social practice. It's similar to um, performance art, but incorporates the public and it brings people together. I feel like there's a, always been a divide in the art world where you're not allowed to touch the paintings, you're not allowed to go close to them, they're very precious. So I wanted to incorporate um, an aspect of bringing people together so that they could be involved with it. During the exhibition for Joy, I invited people to learn how to knit and just finding the joy within learning something new. Um, so I had a bunch of knitting needles and some yarn and I just let people, and I let them sit on the um, sculpture and we just all knit together. Our building was built in the late 60s, early 70s, and so it sort of had that vibe. One of the places we felt that could, A, there was a canvas for the improvement and it would blend in nicely was the stairwells. I never thought I'd paint for the biology department. I'm not a science person. As I was working in the stairwell, professors would always come by and they'd point out which organism was theirs. I think everybody has like their own favorite. And it's not necessarily the organism you work on, it, because it's just, you like the way it's painted. Like I love the horseshoe crab. Just I love the way that she did the speckles and the design of it. That's really nice. The idea of being in, in you know, university, liberal arts university like this, I mean, that's what you want. You want this kind of cross-discipline idea that it shouldn't just be, you know, that we are sequestered over here, biology over there, geology, mathematics, business. I think there should always be a lot of crossover, and I think that's why we offer this degree. I certainly hope that we have started a cooperation, a pattern of cooperation between the sciences and the arts because there's a lot of interesting design in biology and chemistry. There's a lot of beauty in life, and there's lots of ways to represent it. After I graduate from Hofstra, I'd really love to work as an artist in New York City. Um, but I also, um, I've been looking into becoming a professor myself because within working with joy and teaching, um, that's always been another passion of mine, is just seeing someone or helping someone learn a new skill. I would say with Haley, she could be a, an artist, you know, living and working in New York City, showing abroad at some point in time. I could see her working in a biology department. I mean, she could be running any multitude of things. In a lot of ways, when you run into students like this, it's almost best just to stay out of their way.